In the previous two videos, we learned about the universal load function and the server load function. Both functions are used to load page data. We also learned that the server load function, as the name indicates, only runs on the server and the code is never shipped to the browser. That behavior is great for code that uses sensitive information such as database credentials or private API keys. But that does raise a question. Under what situation should you choose to use a universal load function? Well, let's answer that question in this video. At the moment, we load the product's data and render it in the HTML. What I would like for us to do is extract this product HTML into a separate component. Let's begin by creating a new file in the products folder. product.svelte. This is a file which doesn't have to follow any SvelteKit specific conventions. Within the file, I'm going to add a script section declaring a product prop. For the HTML, I'm going to copy paste the three tags from page.svelte file. Really simple. We now have a product component that we can readily use anywhere in the app without having to duplicate code. For now, let's just include it in page.svelte file. Import product from dot slash product dot svelte. And within each block, invoke the product component and pass in product as a prop. If we now head back to the browser and load slash products, our UI should still render as expected. Let's now take our code one step further. Instead of hard coding the product component in page.svelte file, let's load what the rendering component should be as part of the data prop. Let me first reinstate page.js file, which we deleted in the previous video. So within the products folder, new file plus page.js. Copy paste the load function from page.server.js and update the log statement. The argument is also just load event. Now in page.js file, import product from product.svelte file. In the return object, add component set to product. So we're basically passing a component constructor as data to the page. In the page.svelte file, delete the import, extract the component property, and replace product with component in the HTML. Save the file, head to the browser, refresh, and we see our page continues to work. Let's now try to do the same with server load function. In page.server.js, at the top, import the product component. In the object being returned, add component colon product. Now, as soon as we save this file and refresh the browser, we see an error. Data returned from load while rendering slash products is not serializable. Cannot stringify a function data.component.render. And this is the drawback of a server load function. A server load function can only return values that can be serialized. That includes JSON data and a few other values like date, map, set, etc. A class or a component constructor is something a server load function cannot return. That can only be returned from a universal load function. So to answer the question we had at the beginning of this video, 
Use a server load function when returning data that involves sensitive information as part of fetching data. Use a universal load function when you have to return values that a server load function cannot return. Now what if you want to load data that contains sensitive information as well as component constructors or classes? Well, the nice thing is that SwellKit allows you to use both the load functions together. It so happens that the data returned from a server load function is provided to the universal load function as part of the load event argument. So we can load title and product list from page.server.js, but the product component, we're going to load it from page.js. In page.js, we destructure data from load event and spread it in the object being returned. Data here refers to the object returned from server load function. We can also remove any data fetching logic from page.js. Nothing has to change in page.svelte file as there is no change in how we bind the data to the user interface. If we head back to the browser, refresh, and we see the same result as before. So to summarize, page data can be loaded using a universal load function, a server load function, or both. A server load function is useful when you have to work with sensitive information such as credentials or API keys. A universal load function is useful when you have to return values that are not necessarily serializable, such as a component constructor. If your page data requires both, you can use them together. The data returned from a server load function is available through the data destructured argument in the universal load function. At the end of the day, any page data loaded can be accessed using the data prop in the Svelte component file. Now what we have discussed in this video is what can be returned from a universal versus a server load function. But there are differences in what the two functions receive as arguments as well. Let's take a look at some of those important arguments over the next few videos. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.